Hey guys, welcome back to J Coin Collectibles here on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. I know it's been a little bit since we've uh, put out any new videos. Uh, kind of been a lot going on, work, school, and uh, you know, right now a lot of weather going on. Hopefully, y'all are staying warm. It's uh, getting pretty cold outside, and it's gonna be a really cold, cold weekend. So probably won't be uh, doing any pop hunting this weekend. So, but yeah, we got a. One, two, three, about five different packages to open up for you. We'll try and go through it pretty quick. Uh, first off, uh, it's been a couple weeks now. Uh, uh, we lost a, a great friend, uh, a great guy for the uh, Funko community out here in uh, southeast uh, New Mexico. And I uh, just want to take a little time to uh, just kind of talk about him. Uh, good buddy, Lawrence Perez. He... Uh, Passed away suddenly, uh, actually just a few days uh, before his 50th birthday. Uh, just kind of caught everybody off guard by surprise. Uh, his wife, his lady of uh, 11 years, had texted me on, a, I think it was a Sunday evening, that he was sick and in the hospital. And then a couple hours later, you know, she, she called with the, the bad news of uh, Lawrence passing. Uh, this guy, I mean... I went to his memorial last week. Uh, it was beautiful. A lot of great things said about him. Uh, yeah, he just, you know, he, he's somebody I ran across uh, a few years back, I think in about 2011, 2012. I come across him. Uh, I was working for a company that he used to work for back in the day. And uh, we occasionally see each other. And, you know, we didn't know each other much then. Just, you know, hey, how are you? How I was working for, you know, whatever. And, and that was it. And then after I changed companies and went back to uh, where I'm at now, kind of didn't see him for a while. And uh, we crossed paths at the GameStop and uh, come to find out, you know, he was a big time pop collector. Him and his wife, uh, beautiful collection, ton, ton of pops. And uh, so and that was back in, I think, 19, 2019 or one of those, 2019, 2018. But ever since then, he has always texted, I mean, at least two or three times a week of giving me a heads up on what's coming out, what to look for. If uh, he could, you know, pick up anything when he was out doing his pop hunting with his wife. And uh, same thing, you know, I picked up a few things for him uh, when I was in Lubbock a time or two. But just a super great guy. Um, literally two days after Christmas, uh, we got to go hang out with him. Uh, he rented out a movie theater and we got to see the Wonder Woman movie. And uh, that was it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I mean, you know, I could hear Lawrence, you know, he, he was down front row. I was up higher and, you know, a few, few comments, you know, had us laughing from him. But uh, yeah, this guy greatly missed. Uh, I think he, uh, he gave you a, he recognized him from the YouTube videos the minute he walked in that day. Yeah, always gave us, gave me compliments. Yeah, gave him compliments, gave him ideas of what we could do with our videos and uh, stuff that we'll definitely incorporate into it later on. And uh, but yeah, just a you know super nice guy. You know, worked uh, worked for waste management at the time of his passing and loved his customers, uh, loved his family. You know, obviously even more uh, love. I mean, just a, a great guy all around. Great stories that I heard about him. Um, his wife uh, uh, gave me, gifted me with some of his, uh, some of his pops, and uh, which we don't have them up yet. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy uh, another shelf and uh, just dedicate it all to Lawrence and uh, put all his pops on them, display them nicely. I need to order some pop protectors, but uh, you know, just uh, I don't know. I'm still. Every day I kind of look at my phone just waiting for a, a text saying, hey, this is coming out, you know, and, and it's just something I'm used to and it's not, you know, not going to happen anymore. And uh, his wife also gave me this uh, Dallas Stars hat that uh, that was Lawrence's. So got it displayed right here. So and like I said, once uh, we get a, a different shelf, you know, it'll, it'll be set up just for him with his stuff. Um, just I'm uh, just holding it for you, Lawrence, and uh, definitely going to take care of it. And I uh, miss you, buddy. And uh, hope you hope you're having fun up above. And I'm sure you're, uh, you know, just enjoying the view. And and uh, definitely miss you. And uh, 
you know, thanks, thanks for you know teaching me what you taught me, and uh, we'll see you again, buddy. So, uh, on with uh, you know stuff that I know Lawrence loved was his Batman's, and uh, we're just gonna show off a couple Batman's that we recently got in, and I I know Lawrence would would have had them coming in too. So these are the Imperial line from uh, was it it's DC Pops, right? Yeah. Uh, so, two of the Batmans. We got the Funko exclusive that came in, and then these other ones I recently found. Uh, I think Amarillo and Lubbock. So pretty neat red boxes. All their little outfits, and then got the Joker right there. So pretty neat. Um, we, we definitely love our DC. Uh, I think prefer DC over Marvel right yeah I mean I know I do I know you're a big Batman fan so so just want to show those off and what is this this is probably something from whatnot because looking at the name where it came from I don't recognize it and I'm always guilty of ordering from the whatnot late at night and this may be a surprise to me too Oh, I'll let you finish getting into it. Got it? Yeah. Definitely. Oh, no, it's big boy. Oh, yeah, I know what that is now. Oh, it's the folly drink? Yeah, it's uh. No way, I won't break it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see it. Yeah, they are excellent on the packaging and the uh, shipping part of it. Ooh, he looks scary. What is that? Bob's big boy, right? Yep. Yeah, bobbing head. So this is one of the first things that, uh, Funko. that Funko actually made. This is from 1998. So I think I was a junior, yeah, junior, no, sophomore, sophomore in high school. And so that's one of the first things Funko actually made, and it was for uh, Bob's Big Boy restaurants. Uh, and they made a bunch of those to sell in their stores, and that popped up in an auction, uh, I guess last week. And uh, I got it really cheap, like less than ten dollars. So and I think it's you know worth about twenty three, twenty five. But uh, just something you know from Funko's beginning, and that I really wanted to have to just to have in the collection. It's cool. I mean, remember the wacky Wobblers? You know they had a. That's what, yeah, and. So just wanted to get that one. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition for being, you know, from 1998. So. Have to take good care of that one. This is from Entertainment Earth. The box is kind of beat up. Yeah, it took a little ding. So I can only imagine. Hopefully there's know, worse. post office. I mean, no way's perfect, but we've had worse come in. Very. It was a pre-order. If it's from Entertainment Earth, it's usually something I pre-ordered, but I think we probably yeah. already have it. Yep. Oh, dang, you ordered two. Yeah, I ordered two. <laughs> I'm always guilty of ordering two. What, what we got there? This is the um, trains. Train set. Disneyland. Yeah. 65th anniversary. This is the Donald Duck. I don't know if I, you can see. Yeah, we got the whole line. The whole line of the Disneyland. Um, so yeah, I ordered that one when it first came out, ordered two, and then I ended up finding that, I think, at Target, so probably end up selling a few of these, but uh, pretty neat, you know, if you're a Donald Duck fan, Disneyland fan, Disney fan, so, I don't know, what do you want, let's go. Maybe soon, uh, we're going to have an option. Maybe soon. Yeah, waiting to hear back from whatnot because boy, we got some a lot of stuff to sell. So I'm hoping that they'll let me sell some NASCAR stuff too because I got a lot of stuff to sell. Oh, dang. I think I've been holding on to this one for a month or two. Oh, so didn't you accidentally? Yeah, this is, one? yeah, and this is what I was guilty of. Late night before I fell asleep, ordered it, and then I'm like, dang it, why did I order it? Because I won the auction. I won the auction. I was hoping somebody would outbid me. Uh, um, I don't think we can sell this young thing, but... <laughs> Indiana Jones. This is the Funko Shop exclusive. 
gold gold version here. So I've never seen it. Yeah, it's uh definitely a, a neat one to add to the uh, collection. This is a 10 inch pop. You know, everything that you see like this is a four inch. So, but yeah, this is something, you know, I def I wanted it. And uh, I don't know, I maybe spent a little too much on it than I wanted to. I was just hoping somebody would outbid me. I, I get a little guilty of trying to drive up the bids. So I did it to myself. So it's cool though. I mean, it was cool looking. It's heavy. Hole, hole in the snake and got the whatever. I mean, I remember this. this it's been a long time since I've seen these He's movies. He's holding a snake? Yeah, right there. Oh, that, that's a whip. Well, I mean, it looks like a dang snake. That's a whip. Well, whip, snake. Whip He's the snake. He's going to whip the snake. <laughs> I mean, probably a whip makes sense now. So, I was corrected. So, uh, looks like a snake. I, I can see how it Yeah, yeah, I mean. The, what do we call it? Yeah, and the design. Yeah. So, but anyhow, the whip snake. <laughs> So, but yeah, definitely uh, gonna have to put it up here somewhere. Find some room for it. So, and you want the Mr. Robot one now? Sure. This one's from Mr. Robot. They do a. I guess they used to have a store, and they're out of El Paso, and uh, they used to have a store, but they I guess shut it down last year, and uh, they do used to be weekly auctions on Facebook, and now. It's more like monthly. It's more whenever the hell they feel like it, I think. So it's been a while since they've done one. But uh, I usually get pretty good stuff from them. Good prices. You know, you're, you're bidding other people who are on there. So seem like a fun ladies to, to hang out with. And uh, I like to have a good time and sell a lot of good pops. So get this open for you. I'm going to let you show the camera. Oh, my gosh. I got to come with me. What we got in the three of them? Oh, I was hoping I could show one at a time, but. No, I mean, I just, how many total do we have? There's three. Oh, they wrapped them all together, huh? Yes, they did. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, dang, That's why they wrapped it together. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess. Intermission. <laughs> There we go. I guess I grab this one. Oh, I grab that pop. And I'm cute. There we go. First up. We got the Batman robot. What do you know about that one? Because I don't. I just wanted it and bought it. I know that there is a Superman robot. It was like, I don't know what was his. Oh, it might have been Lex Luthor from the things that I've read. He made an evil. Batman. Wait, well, no, not Batman. Superman. He made evil Superman. And if y'all have ever watched um, The Flash or any DC Legends, any of that stuff, you'll see that there's episodes and there's like bad versions. And it's just completely off topic, but it's the same thing. It's there's bad ones. They made a different version of Batman. A bad Batman? Yeah. <laughs> That's from the animated series, the cartoon, right? Yeah, I'm surprised. They have, they have, um, what's his name? Joker, he made a big old clown robot. Forgot what his hmm. name was. He was a part of the animated series, so. That's cool. What else we got? Um, we got the Undertaker. Oh, man, he looks awesome. Is that a, <laughs> we got the is that a Undertaker? The yeah, he's the glow-in-the-dark purple one. He looks pretty awesome, honestly. Yeah, it's an Amazon exclusive. So I really don't like buying from Amazon, so I was glad to get it from them. And uh, so, what else we got? And then we got um, Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, another Amazon exclusive Transformer line. Uh, definitely, you know, kids of the '80s. Uh, I'm sure had a lot of Transformers. I remember having a lot. And then they, you know, became popular again. You know, 2000s, Died. mid 2000s. So. Yeah, everything dies, kind of. I mean, records are coming back. So, so I'm betting 20 years CDs will be popular again. So, I'm in good shape. I got a bunch of them. So, but yeah, this uh, Undertaker and Transformer, both uh, Amazon exclusives. This thing's got some weight. This one glows in the dark, so we'll be testing that out later. 
And finally, I think our last box for this video is a Chrono Toy Weekly Challenger box. And I went ahead and uh, I thought about cutting the back. I don't guess I did. There you go. Alright, thank you. Don't look at it, don't look at I it. I saw all blue, I saw uh, blue. I saw blue. What did you... I didn't see anything, but I just you, saw blue. The color blue? Yeah, the color blue. No idea. I don't know. It was like the box color. Come on. Don't want to damage the pop. Packed it in there good. Yes, they did. Alright. Live away, live away. Um. <laughs> oh, it's for friends. Um. Joey. Joey Tribbiani from, uh, from Friends. So, which I just... Hmm. Well, anyhow, I just uh, yesterday picked up the Gunther Chase, you know, Gunther from Friends. It's around here somewhere. We need to, oh, it's right here. Yeah, I just picked this one up yesterday, Hot Topic. So, it's a, part of the same line and Friends, you know, great, great TV series, you know, mid-90s. So, I could, it's a show I could watch all over again. So, it always made me laugh. So that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a uh, probably a ten dollar pot. Not even worth looking it up. So, but that's all we really have for you today. We just wanted to get a video out, get some of these boxes open out of the way, and just uh, just to mention, you know, our our friend Lawrence that uh, you know we're definitely gonna miss. You know, just a, a great guy all around, and uh, just wanted to tell you know show this and tell you a little something about him. And I mean, he loved anybody who. Uh, who was a collector. He loved his comics, he loved his, you know, his uh, heavy metal, he loved his Funko Pops, you know, he loved his wife, loved, loved everybody. Great guy and uh, left a, a positive mark on a lot of people and uh, you know, like I said, we'll see you again Lawrence and uh, appreciate y'all stopping by checking out the video. If you could subscribe and hit the like button, we would appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Um, just just a comment. <laughs> exactly. Just a comment. That's all we're asking. It's just a comment. So thank you all, and we'll see you all next time.